So, can a Toshiba NB200 old Atom based laptop run emulators? Let's find out in this video. Here it is, my old and battered, not really usable anymore, Toshiba NB200. I've got a 16GB SD card, just standard SanDisk affair. I've installed Batora Linux on it, which is sort of like RetroPie but uh, bootable. So this doesn't require any sort of hard drive installed in the computer at all. In fact, I'm going to remove the hard drive at this computer because this is the only reason I'm going to be using this computer from now on. So if you have one of these lying about doing nothing and you find it too slow to use for general usage, you can put emulators on this using Batora or Linux. I think I used version 5.20 as later releases wouldn't work properly. So let's have a look at Bat Batokura Linux. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong in the video. So it will boot up. This is speeded up the process. It does. It, it takes a bit longer than while I'm showing in this video. It might be quicker if you install it on a hard drive, but I'm literally running this directly from the SD card. I have put a few select ROMs on here. So as you can see, is the uh, main menu. So, uh, yep, we've got various emulators. I've put some Sega Master System ROMs in here, some Mega Drive ROMs. Let's have a look at some Master System ROMs and see how they perform. This laptop netbook, sorry, has Bluetooth built in, so you could theoretically hook up a Bluetooth gamepad, but I haven't done that in my video. All I've done is using the keyboard. And as you can see, there's Alex Kid works just fine. You can see the decal, the uh, artwork around the screen. You can actually turn that off in settings as well if you wish to do so. Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Game I had back in the day. Built into the Master System. Master System 2 power base. But yet, yeah, this is it running on this netbook. And as you can see, it runs absolutely fine. So let's come out of that and let's have a look at some other games. So Let's have a look at Quartet as well. I haven't put many games on here, just a select few to show in the video. So here it is, Quartet. You can actually connect this distribution to Wi-Fi as well, which would allow you to uh, SSH over some uh, more ROMs if you wish to do so using your network. Makes it very easy. So yeah, I thought I'd show you this video because it's like a... If you've got one of these old NB200s lying about somewhere and you don't know what to do with it or you're thinking about taking it to landfill, don't just yet and just run it as an emulation station. Runs pretty well to be honest. The Atom CPU might be a bad CPU but it, it can handle these old games just fine. Under emulation is Shinobi here. The Master System version. As you can see it plays just fine. No slow down or anything. The screen's quite bright as well, which makes it quite useful for a little portable uh, emulation system. You can get them on eBay for about a tenner, something like that probably as well, or from Facebook Marketplace if you want to get hold of one. I'm sure this would probably work on other Atom-based netbooks as well. The only one I have to hand is the uh, Toshiba-based one, so I won't be able to show or more running. So here's Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Wait for the game to start. There it is, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. As you can see, it works just fine. When it, it will finally start in a minute. There it is, Terminator 2 running just fine. So let's come out of that and let's have a look. Um, let's go back. Here. Do I go back? I, you can configure your own controls. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's go back and uh, let's have a look at some Mega Drive games here. Now I did try Sonic One, but I think my ROM was bad. It didn't load. It just caught with a red screen. Uh, but uh, Sonic Two works just fine. I'm I'm sure it's just a ROM now that I used because plenty of different versions of the ROM. Uh, I'm sure if I used a different version it would work just fine, but here's Sonic 2 anyway. You can see it handles Mega Drive emulation perfect. There's the old Sega uh, speech at the beginning. 
as you can see Sonic 2 runs absolutely splendidly now slow down in this either so it handles the 16-bit uh, games pretty well to be honest I think the, lap, the uh, netbook was released around 2007, 2008, something like that. So pretty old. It can run Windows 10, but it's extremely slow, so it's not really recommended. Oh, I forgot to mention I've actually got uh, two gigabytes installed in this netbook of DDR RAM. Uh, I think the, the base is one gigabyte. It might work on one gigabyte, I haven't tried it, but... I don't see any reason why not. Is Outrun, the Sega Mega Drive version. Very, very good port to the arcade machine is the Sega Mega Drive version, to be honest. As you can see, runs just fine. One of the better ports of the game. Much better than the Amiga and the Atari ST version, I have to say. I think that's got to hurt. Let's have a look at another game on the Mega Drive library I've got on here. Streets of Rage 2, classic beat em up. Works absolutely splendid, works fine. Just a nice idea to put one of these old netbooks to use. And mine, even after all these years, still holds the charge of the battery. I haven't got the power supply unit plugged in and it's holding the charge just fine as you can see. You can easily replace the battery if the battery is now good anyway. I'm sure you can probably get them from the likes of eBay and places like that, Amazon and stuff. So uh, their Streets of Rage 2 running perfect. Have a look at a Nintendo game. You can put other ROMs on for other systems as well, like PlayStation, etc., etc. But I don't think the Atom will be able to handle them as well as it does the 16 and 8 bit micros. You can even put ZX Spectrum Commodore 64s on there as well. There's lots of possibilities for this. These Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers running fine. Used to love this game. Still do, to be honest. The uh, NES version. Works beautifully. Okay. Let's come out of Nintendo. And can it run Doom? Yes, it can. It comes pre installed with the uh, shareware version of Doom, the PC version. Uh, and it runs just fine, as you can see. Here's Doom. Nice, solid frame rate. Got nice, all artistic. Uh, banners on the left and right sides as well. So the answer to the question, can it run Doom? It certainly can. And it runs it very well, except for the damn music for some reason. And maybe that's down to it being a share shareware version, I'm not sure. Super Nintendo. Let's have a look at that now. Now I did find with Super Nintendo the, the 3D FX games such as Star Fox or Star Wing uh, run a little bit slower. But the normal games run just fine. Such as this from this rare rare classic Donkey Kong Country. Uh, one of the be best games on the Super Nintendo in my opinion. Just at looks and plays absolutely superb. All save files work on this as well, it just saves your files to the SD card. So like I said, you don't even need to have a hard drive plugged into the PC at all. It can just work, it works directly from the SD card. You, you do have the option to install it to the hard drive if you wish to do so. But you could just keep it on the SD card. 
because the, the netbook has a SD slot in the front, it just utilizes that. You don't need you don't need an SD reader or anything. And even though it's an old netbook, you can still use a 16 gigabyte one, which is a lot newer than this netbook. So here's F0 mod seven games seem to work just fine. Now slow down on the mod seven games, as you can see, runs and plays perfect. Now, of course. You can either hook up a Bluetooth gamepad, like I said earlier in the video, or you can hook up a USB gamepad as well, because it's just gen basically a PC under the hood, really. So, a £5 USB gamepad from eBay should work on it. Probably pay a bit more than that for a decent one, though. The FC was running brilliantly. I used to love doing that smashing into the scenery <laughs> right so there's F0 so yeah that was a quick look at uh, Batalkara I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong uh, Linux running on this old Toshiba NB200 netbook which some of you may have it probably will work on other Atom netbooks and uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye <laughs>